and welcome to another video with me. I am Neve, an online ESL teacher, and I teach other teachers how teach other teachers <laughs> how to market themselves effectively so you can win over new students. All right. So if you haven't already, you can simply click below. You can get access to my completely new and free mini course. It's a mini course for ESL teachers only to understand, to discover how to effectively market yourself to get your own students, all right? So today, what did I want to discuss with you? Today, I wanted to explain, I get this question asked a lot, how can I manage students as you begin to um, get your group of students? How can I timetable, set up? Okay, now my advice here would actually be to keep it as simple as possible. Try not to over overcomplicate things, keep it as easy as possible. How I do it, so I have my students, each student, and I keep the same student at the same time every week. So five o'clock on a Monday, I know who I'm teaching. Eight o'clock on a Tuesday morning, I know who I'm teaching. Saturday at 10 a.m., I know who I'm teaching consistently week upon week. Then what do I do? So one tool that I strongly recommend for you is Calendly. Calendly is a, a platform that you can use. It's free, you don't need to pay, that you can simply um, schedule in the availability that you have. So you can look on a time from Monday to Sunday and you say the times that you're available. So when you get a new student come along, they have, you've done all the steps to get them to be your student. The final step is scheduling. How do you do it? Well, you simply say to them, look, I'm going to send you a link. Click on the link, you will see my availability and then choose one of those times and dates, okay? Then what we will do is we will stick with that time and date consistently for each week. Of course, in the future, if you had to change it, that's fine. You're an independent teacher, you can do that, okay? You're no longer with a company where you have to stick with the same time and date for a class for 30 weeks, 40 weeks, whatever it might be. But in general, that's the process. Then, the great thing about Calendly is if you have students in a different time zone, when they click that link, normally what happens is it will automatically go to the time zone they're in. If not, they do have a drop down menu where they can click their own time zone to see them in their time. Um, the reason I do this and the reason I recommend you do it is it's far easier than to and and froing with lots of messages. Can you do Mondays at seven? No, no, I can't. Oh, what about Tuesdays? It gives them the opportunity to browse, look at your options and then choose. So it's perfect for that. The other reason that I recommend that you do it is because when you send your Calendly, I, I have a little note on the Calendly link, okay, uh, in the notes section that I just write a little line where I say, this is the time and date that we'll choose. It will stay like this for, you know, each week at this time. Um, and that I have like a 48 hour cancellation policy. So this is the time of day, for example, Mondays at 5 p.m. So if they were to cancel a class with less than 48 hours notice, well, I've already paid, been paid in advance, it's their problem. If it's before 48 hours, well, that's okay. But it's simply that you've got it written down somewhere. It doesn't need to be a formal contract, okay? But just a little message on your Calendly that just says that to notify them. But nothing that's intimidating them because they are still becoming your students, so you don't want to intimidate them too much. So that is my top tip on booking system, keeping it simple, don't overcomplicate it, and rule of thumb, try to do it that you send your availability for a one week period, and then you say this is the time and date for you, and that's what you stick with for um, week upon week, okay? So I hope you found that useful, and I will see you soon. And remember, if you haven't already, do click and get access to a free mini course, which I'm sure will be completely um, valuable for you. You will discover a lot. I will see you soon. Bye.